Movie buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. This is D. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a few things that I picked up. Now, I just did a pickup video, I think, last week. Um, and that was stuff that came in like the month before. This is the stuff that I picked up for... I did February's pickup. This is the stuff that I picked up for March. So, this is the, the only pickup video that I'm going to do for the, the entire month of March. And I just picked up a few things. Um, I picked up from... Uh, where did I get these from? Um, one from Best Buy and five from like a little store, a little used media store. And then I picked up, a, I picked up nine titles from Indicator. Indicator got some good prices. The only thing with Indicator is because they're in the UK, uh, the duty is, I think duty, shipping and handling, whatever you want to call it. It's a little, I'm not going to say it's pricey for it coming from the UK. So I'm not going to say it's pricey. You just got to pay a duty. It's like 25 bucks for the duty. And I guess that's based on how much you order and the weight. So I got nine titles. The duty on it or shipping and handling would be like 25 bucks. And I'm not going to say that's expensive because it's coming all the way from the UK. It's got to be, you know, you got to pay to play. So without further ado, let's take a look at some titles that I picked up from like a little local store. Um, Terrence Howard, Colin Farrell, um, Naomi Rapace, and Dominic Cooper in Dead Man Down. I remember when this movie came out. I know parts of this movie was shot in Philly, because down in Center City, Philadelphia, because when they were shooting this movie, I was working down Center City at the time when they were shooting parts of this movie. So I do remember when this movie came out. I never got around to watching this movie, right? I was intrigued by them shooting the movie so close to my job at the time, but I never got around to watching the movie when it came out. And this was years ago when this movie came out. Um, let's see, I picked up this one here, Sword of Storms, Blood and Iron. This is the uh, Hellboy animated. It looks okay. I mean, you know, we'll check it out. It's animated. I'll throw it in the collection. Why not? I do like Hellboy. Here's another one. I did have the pleasure of seeing this, and I enjoyed it because I liked the old Astro Boy cartoons from way back in the day. But this was good. I really enjoyed this one, Astro Boy. I liked the animation style. I liked, it had a great story. It was a good. It was a very good cartoon. This is one that I saw many times, and I just kind of overlooked it. But I said, you know, let me just go ahead and pick it up this time. Domino. And I don't have any... I don't know why I didn't have this movie in my collection sooner. But, again, I'm not the biggest Ryan Reynolds fan. I am a huge Sam Jackson fan. Ryan Reynolds... I'm not saying he's a bad actor or anything. I'm just not a huge fan. So, Ryan Reynolds, Samuel Jackson, Gary Oldman, and Selma Hayek in... The Hitman's Bodyguard. And I know there's a second one, The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, which I'm going to get that one too. I just get, never got around to getting it. It's just not a movie that really... It didn't blip on my radar a lot. So that's what I picked up from a little uh, little media store. And here's one that I got from Best Buy. RIP to Best Buy's Physical Media. If you go on their website, there's hardly anything left. There's a lot of stuff there, but there's no... There's no button to add it to your cart. You can see the price for some of that stuff, but you can't add it to your cart. It's just, they just got it up there. But this, I was able to get my hands on this one, so I was happy to get this one. This one is Dustin Hoffman and um, Meryl Streep, Kramer versus Kramer. Really good movie. I enjoyed this movie. I remember when this movie came out way back in the day. I, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say this was a made-for-TV movie. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But yeah. Kramer versus Kramer. It's a really good movie. Husband and wife, they're divorcing, and they're fighting for custody over the son. Really good movie. Now, that's that. And here's everything that I picked up from Indicator. And again, when I go on Indicator, I, I buy out of... They got this three for 20 section that I buy from. So, and, and these are rock solid titles. Some of these titles I know, some of them I don't. Let's dive in. We got Richard Pryor, Harvey, Ke Harvey Keitel, and Yafet Koto. Blue Collar. And we have Faye Dunway, Tommy Lee Jones, and Eyes of Laura Mars. And, of course, I'm trying to get a few more Sydney Portiers in my collection. I don't really have that many. I think this is the third movie that I have with Sydney. I'm trying to get up to at least ten. So we got Sydney Portier, Spencer Tracy, and Katherine Hepburn in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. We got Willem Dafoe and Susan Sarandon. Love Susan Sarandon and Willem Dafoe. This one is called Light Sleeper. Next up, we got Glenn Close and Jeff Bridges. Love both of these two. 
um, Glenn Close, she is an, she's an incredible talent. And Jagged Edge. Then we have Tom Berenger and Mimi Rogers, Someone to Watch Over Me. Um, I heard nothing but good things about this one. Richard Attenborough, uh, Judy uh, Geeson, and John Hurt. Ten rolling place. Ten rolling ten place. Rillington, not Rollington. I'm sorry. Ten Rillington place. I heard nothing but good things about this one. I'm going to actually watch this one when I'm done with this video. I definitely want to dive into this one. And this is a movie I saw back in the day. It was a corny movie, but it's Ice Cube. It's John Carpenter's Ghost of Mars. It's a cornball movie. It's, 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 this is corny fun. I just said, it's an Ice Cube movie. I do want to grab a few more Ice Cube movies. A lot of them aren't good, but I want them anyway. Uh, what's the one that I really want? Was it Behind the Glass Shield? It was one of the movies. It, Ice Cube was in it for like five seconds. <laughs> uh, and this one is a Nicky Cage movie. So we got Matthew Modine and Nicolas Cage and Birdie. So this is another Nicky Cage for the Nicky Cage collection. Here we go. So let's go ahead and recap this. That's the nine titles I picked up from Indicator. So let's go ahead and recap this real quick. We got Kramer versus Kramer from Best Buy, RIP Best Buy. This is my final purchase from Best Buy. As far as physical media goes, uh, it's been a great ride, Best Buy. Some great deals, some great Black Friday deals. I'm going to miss their Black Friday deals. Hopefully, Walmart can pick up the slack. Kramer versus Kramer. The Hitman's Bodyguard. Domino. Astro Boy. Hellboy. This is a cartoon. I don't think this is a movie. I think it's a series. I think it's two series. Well, two... Yeah, I'm not sure how this is working, but it's... Oh, it's two full-length features. My bad. And this was a stars... It, this was put out by stars. So, I guess one features Sword of Storms, and the other one is Blood and Iron. So, if it's put out on stars, it's probably going to be a, a more grittier animation. And this one is called Dead Man Down. Then we got Birdie, another Nicky Cage for the Nicky Cage collection. Ghost of Mars. Ten Rillington Place. Someone to Watch Over Me. I really do like these indicator movies. I really do. And they're, they're a great value. They are a great value. Jagged Edge. Willem Dafoe. Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. The Eyes of Laura Mars, and Blue Collar. Now, again, back to Indicator. Uh, again, these titles, without duty, or, yeah, I'm just going to call it duty because it's not shipping the hand, it's duty. It's coming from another country. So, I'm going to say these nine titles here, yeah, nine. These nine titles here, without duty or anything, it was 66 bucks for nine titles. 66 bucks. And these are good titles, too. And Indicator got great quality. So 66 bucks, you can't beat that. And they got a nice, they got a decent selection in that three for ten section that they have. I actually, this is the so this is the eight, these movies make 18 movies that I picked up from that section. So again, 66 bucks, then you throw the 25 bucks for a duty on it. It's still not too bad. It's still not bad. It's still it's under a hundred bucks. So you're still looking at under 10 bucks a movie. Where if you bought them, if you got these titles in the States, it would have been really, really cheap. Again, three for 20. So not a bad deal. Not a bad haul. Thanks for, thanks for uh, coming back and watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.